Welcome. Here, we break down complex electrical engineering concepts into simple, practical, and engaging explanations. So stay connected with the world of electrical engineering. Let's talk about the core balance current transformer or simply CBCT. It's a special type of current transformer. Its job is to detect imbalance in a three-phase cable system. When all three-phase currents are balanced, the resultant current is zero. Why? Because the vector sum of red, yellow, and blue phase currents, each 120 degrees apart, always cancels out. Now imagine a ring-shaped core placed around the three cores of a cable. Each core carries current of one phase. In this condition, the net flux inside the CBCT core becomes zero because the three currents add up to zero. Think of it this way. The red phase produces flux. The yellow phase produces flux and the blue phase also produces flux in the same CT core. Since these fluxes are 120 degrees apart, they cancel each other. The result, no net flux inside the core. If we wind a coil around this core, there won't be any EMF induced because there is no flux linkage. So no current flows in the coil. But what happens if there's an imbalance? Say due to an earth fault or some leakage through insulation. In that case, the sum of the three currents is no longer zero. The imbalance current creates a net flux in the core. That alternating flux induces EMF in the coil. Now, if we connect a relay across this coil, current flows through it. This relay usually acts as an earth fault relay. When it picks up, it sends a signal to the trip coil of the circuit breaker. The breaker trips and we also get annunciation and indication. In this way, the CBCT protects the cable system against earth leakage and earth faults. Construction. The core of a CBCT is ring shaped. Manufacturers generally use cold rolled grain oriented steel laminations or sometimes nanocrystalline material. They insulate the core with paper or similar insulation. Then they wind enamel coated copper wire over it to make the secondary winding. The number of turns depends on how sensitive we want the device to be in detecting small fault currents. The entire assembly is sealed in resin cast, epoxy or molded plastic. This gives strength and insulation. The secondary terminals come out through a terminal block, which we use to connect the external earth fault relay. Thanks for watching. We hope this video helped you understand electrical engineering concepts better. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to like, share, and leave your thoughts in the comments. Stay with us and stay updated with more videos on transmission lines, substations, and power systems. Until next time, stay curious, keep learning, and keep the power flowing.